Hi, and welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we will learn about the Star Delta Starter Control Circuit and its wiring. So let's talk about the components we require for this wiring. The first thing we need is a power contactor. Here, I'm going to use three power contactors. That is a main contactor, a star contactor, and a delta contactor. And also we need an overload relay, a star delta timer, some NONC push buttons, and a control single pole MCB. So these are the five components we're going to use for the wiring of the Star Delta Starter Control Circuit. The user interface of this software is very simple and easy to use. Now click on Electrical Engineering and create a blank page and the dashboard will be open. Here you will get a lot of features like My Library and a large collection of basic electrical symbols that are normally used in circuits. So all you have to do is drag and drop the symbols and assemble it according to your circuit diagram. See, it's very simple. Just click on the circuit symbol and put it on the blank page. Now, organize all the symbols according to your circuit diagram and add connecting wire between symbols. There is an option for all connectors. Just click on the connector and connect all the symbols as per your circuit diagram. After completing the circuit, you can also add text like your name or the components names. Now our circuit is completed, so click on File, go to the Print option, and click on Print. At first we have used an MCB that is connected to the phase, and we used an OLR which is connected to MCB, and then the Stop and the Start button are connected in series with the timer. From here we make a loop that is going to the star contactor through control. The second loop is connected to the delta contactor through timer NO and star NC. And the third loop is connected to the main contactor through star NO. And all neutral points of all the contactors are connected together. As you can see, we have used two main contactors holding the first one on the start button and the second is on the star NC. Now, let's start the wiring as per the circuit diagram. First, we have to connect a wire between the MCB and the OLR. This is the MCB and that is the OLR. Then, we have to connect a wire from the OLR to the stop button. This is the stop button, and the wire will connect here. So, the OLR and the stop button are connected. Now, we will connect the stop button to the start button. The wire will connect from the stop button to the start button. Then a wire will be connected from the start button to the timer. See, the wire is connected to the timer's A1 terminal. As per the circuit diagram, we have to connect a wire from the timer's A1 terminal to the timer's NC point.
NC from A1 to NC, and then from NC to NO. This is the NC point, and that is the NO. So a wire connects the timer's A1 to the timer's NC, and NC to the timer's NO. Then, the same wire will connect to the star NO point. As you can see, this is the star contactor NO point. Now that we have completed this much of the wiring, let's connect the star's NC point to the delta's NC point. From here to the delta contactor's NC point, and this is the delta contactor's NC point. Then we have to connect delta's NC point to the star contactor. Now, we will connect a wire from the timer NO to the star NC. This is the timer NO, and it will be connected to the star NC. From here to here, and the wire from the star NC will be connected to the delta contactor. So this two loop is completed, and in the third loop, we have to connect only the star NO to the main contactor. So this is a star contactor, and the wire will connect to the coil of the main contactor. For holding, we will connect a wire from the main contactor to the NO point. So the wire will connect from here to the NO point. Then the wire will be connected from the main contactor NO point to the star NO point from here to the star NO point. Now our holding is done. And for the main contactor holding, this is our main contactor, and we will connect a wire between the main contactor to the NO point. This is the same wire, friends, which is connected to the star NO point. So we will connect the same star NO wire to the main contactor NO point. and the output wire will connect to the start button. And last, we will connect the phase wire to the MCB and the neutral wire will be connected to all neutrals of the timer, star, delta, and main contactors. Now I connected the phase wire to the MCB and the neutral wire to all contactors and the overload relay is connected to the main contactor like this. So now we're going to explain how this works. We have already given supply to the MCB and the black wires represent all neutral connections.
So let's turn on the MCB and these two start and stop buttons. When I press the start button, the main contactor and the star contactor will turn on. See, the main contactor and the star contactor are turned on. When the timer changes its timing, the star contactor will turn off and the delta contactor will turn on. Now the delta contactor is turned on. Now press the stop button and the circuit will stop. For a better understanding, I have removed the casing so that you can easily notice which one is turned on and which one is not. Keep your eyes on the main and star contactors. When I push the start button, the star contactor is on. And when the timer changes the time, it turns on the delta contactor. When we push the stop button, the circuit will turn off. You can download the eDraw Max software for free via the link below. Thanks for watching. To get the most out of eDraw Max and all its great features, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.